and I really like how it looks. And what I'm going to do is take this photo of myself and drop it onto it. I'm going to make sure everything's lined up. I'm dropping opacity to make sure, yeah, everything's good. And what I'm going to do here is make it look like I'm coming out of this picture frame. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is get rid of my legs. We have a bunch of different selection tools we've learned about this year. I'm going to start off with polygonal lasso, which allows us to do straight lines. So I can click here and it will keep that straight line to the edge. And I'm going to drag it all the way up here to my hand. And then over here, over here, over here, some big areas, just grabbing those out. Because then I'm going to switch it over to the magnetic lasso, which will stay more along the edges. So I'm going to click here while I'm holding shift, click, still holding shift, click around my hand, around my knuckles, right on over to here. I'm following along the edge of this portrait and then just coming down back through here, grabbing to here and then coming back to that first circle. So now I have this big selection area. What I'm going to want to do with that is grab the eraser tool from right on over here. And then I'm going to bring up the brush size. Otherwise I'd be erasing forever and something like that. So now as I erase myself out of existence, cleans it up, give it a chance to think for a second. And I'm going to deselect and I get a little bit of some hard lines that I don't want to see here. Light tones changed a little bit between the pictures. So I'm just going to grab that eraser and it's still set for a soft brush right down here hardness at zero so as I erase it's not going to create any new hard lines so I can erase that out erase right over here make sure everything's lined up all right so I've got myself floating there the next part I'm going to want to do is change it to black and white not necessary but a bunch of the surreal projects do that so I'm going to take both layers and merge them down by right clicking here and merge then I'm going image adjustment and gradient map right now it's set off the black and the maroon for the colors that I had there but I'm gonna want to switch this to white so I just double clicked on it drag it up to white and the reason why I'm doing this instead of just dropping saturation down is I want to have a little bit more control of my tones so if I bring this black over things get darker bring the white over whites get brighter and then I can play with the slider. Do I want it to be more gray there, more gray here? And it just gives you more control of what you got. So I'm liking eh, right about there. Yeah, that's good. Then I'm just gonna hit okay. I have a nice black and white photo. It's got a bunch of different tones to it, but I'm gonna play with it a little bit more. I'm coming down here and I'm adding a new layer and then I'm switching over to the paint bucket tool. With the paint bucket tool, I'm just gonna paint it up black so I can't see anything. And then going back to the eraser, and I wanna bring out the areas where I was at. So coming up, selecting my brush size, I'm gonna click and click and click and click. And a little bit more light there let's lighten me up just a little bit but I want to keep that kind of dark shadowy dreamlike look so I've got a couple images there that's only two with this project we have to use at least three and I've got a creepy hand here so might as well grab some more I also grabbed some pictures of my hands and with these all I'm gonna do because it's against the white background is image select select subject and it's gonna think for a second and another and it's selected my hand out then when I grab this I can drag it right on over here and drop it in I'm gonna do the same thing image adjustment gradient map again switching this back to black and white instead of that maroon I'm gonna make it a little bit darker, a little bit brighter, way more dark, oh, drop the black out, way more darker. So I have some shadow hands. And then what I'm gonna do is drag this layer beneath that vignette layer. 
So now it's just playing out there in the darkness. I'm gonna move it just slightly over. And then I'm gonna duplicate it, hitting Control J, or you can come here, right click, and duplicate layer. And then I'm hitting Control T to transform it again. I'm gonna move this hand right on over here and drop it. And let's grab that other one as well, Control T to grab that one from the panel right here. Have it reaching out from up top. I'm gonna to do that a few more times. One eternity later. Okay, and so all done with it. I've added up a bunch of different little hands all over the picture. And at that point, all I would have to do is come on up to file, save as, and get it saved. Make sure when you upload this one, you're uploading not just the final picture, but you're also uploading all of the different elements you use. So I want to see with this one, it would be the different pictures I took of hands, the background, and the picture of me.